My name is Jeff Asher, and I'm a principal architect on the Cluster Data on Tap Transition Acceleration Team here at NetApp. Today we're going to look at installing and configuring the Graphite Virtual Appliance in less than five minutes. Here we see a cluster named Bender that we're going to use as the subject for our performance charts. So first things first, we have to deploy the virtual appliance. So here I'm using vSphere 6.0. This is the web client. I'm going to deploy an OVF template. Uh, this assumes that I already have this downloaded locally uh, somewhere. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose that and then click Next. Uh, the next couple of screens are just basic setup. Here I'm going to name it Graphite VA60 uh, because I already have a Graphite VA uh, in, elsewhere in the cluster. I'm going to choose which cluster to install it on. Now I'm going to choose the data store that I'm going to put it on. Here I'm choosing VMProd Linux Flash Pool. Now we choose the network that I want to attach it to. I only have one virtual network, so that's pretty easy. And I'm going to power this on after deployment so that uh, we're ready to go as quickly as we can be. So I click Finish. This is going to complete pretty quickly. This works on vSphere 6, like I'm showing here, but it also works fine on 5.5. It also works with VMware Workstation and VMware Fusion. Uh, something else to keep in mind is that we need to deploy this on some on a data store that is high performance because the Graphite database is fairly I.O. intensive. So now let's go into the console. Here you can see it's already booted up. It boots up very quickly. Don't worry about the IP address. That's the IP address that was used when the OVA was packaged. It's going to pull a correct one, as we'll see on the next screen. But I'm going to go ahead and use the default username here, which is admin. And then the default password with the appliance is NetApp01 with a capital N. So I've logged in. You see I have the right IP address. I'm in the right time zone. Uh, but I need to set the host name. So hit option three. And here I'm going to give it the fully qualified domain name, which is going to be graphiteva-60.cltse.netapp.com. Next thing I'm going to do is configure Harvest itself. So I go into Harvest, and I can add the performance collection. So I'm going to add a system. And now this system can be uh, a seven mode system or it could be a clustered on tap system. It doesn't matter. So you only do this once per cluster regardless of the number of nodes uh, or you could do it per seven mode controller. Uh, you see it uses system IP. It also takes a host name. So now I'm just giving it the name. I'm choosing the site CLTSE for the Charlotte SE lab and default polling interval is 60 seconds. Now that it's passed, it's going to take me back here. And if I want to verify this, I just hit one. Yep, I see it's there. Now I'm going to go back and back again. Now I would repeat this step of adding those systems over and over again for each uh, cluster or controller, uh, if it's seven mode that I want to monitor, or any unified manager servers that I want to get capacity information from. Now let's go look at some dashboards. I'm going to go to the IP address of the virtual appliance. Username is admin, password is admin by default. You can change that uh, later in the Grafana interface. I'm going to log in and let's look at the NetApp dashboard cluster. Everything's great. Oh, not so fast. So what we've run into here is that we simply haven't pulled for metrics and created the metric files that Grafana is going to use yet. So this is going to take a little bit of time. The way I can verify this is if I go into the Graphite interface, which is on the same virtual appliance, but I go to port 81 instead of the default port of 80. And here I can see the Graphite interface. I'm going to expand this. So I do see that I have some data uh, under NetApp Perf CLTSE. There's my cluster bender. Oh, it's got all four nodes. Uh, but my SVM list looks incomplete because it hasn't finished polling and creating these uh, metrics. Each metric is a separate file. And by default, Graphite only uh, 
creates 200 metric files per minute. So here you can see that I have different metrics uh, under each uh, node. Uh, when this converges and everything is the way it should be, each of the nodes is going to have uh, a full list of metrics and the SVMs are going to have a full list of metrics and also the SVM list is going to match. So it's, we've, it's been a minute since it, we expanded it. You have to actually refresh the graphite screen and go back down the tree again to find this. But let's expand nodes. Yep, there we see I have more metric categories that have been collected. So this just takes a little bit of time. I know that this cluster has about, uh, we'll create about uh, 2,000 metric files. So I'm going to wait a little bit of time. We're going to do, look at the clock time now. It's 8.09 a.m. So what we're going to do is wait about 20 minutes and come back and check this again. All right, so here you can see the clock time is now 8.31. So let's refresh and dive back down into uh, our graphite tree here under CLTSE. Let's expand the nodes and look at the f set of categories I have. Oh, vendor 07, vendor 08 match, uh, which is good. And now we're going to uh, look at the SVMs and make sure that I have all of the SVMs. So I see that list. Uh, and next I'm going to go back to vendor and just verify that I have the same list of storage virtual machines in graphite that system manager shows me when I go to that uh, cluster. So now let's go back to Gravana and let's do a refresh. So I have metrics, uh, I have charts, everything's looking good. If I want to be fancy, I can drop this list down. And there's a setting called auto refresh that I'm going to set. And I'm going to set that at one minute because my polling interval, remember, was one minute. It doesn't make sense to do anything frequent than that. So let's recap what we've done. Uh, we're going to look at a timeline of the activities that we did uh, throughout this deployment. So at 8.02, we started the deployment. At 8.06, we were finished configuring Harvest and the virtual appliance. So that was less than five minutes of work to configure the Graphite VA and Harvest for just one cluster. Now we did have a little bit of wait time, but that wait time depends on the cluster size and the number of objects on that cluster. If you have any questions about anything that we've done today, uh, contact your manageability CSE or any of the members of the virtual storage management team. Thanks for watching.